What's going on guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren and today we're going to take you on a full tour of this brand new construction modern house here in Sherman Oaks. Nestled on a peaceful cul-de-sac, this home features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 4,433 square feet of living space and is currently on the market for just under $2.4 million. Heading up to the front of the house, the driveway features concrete stone slab and turf patterns. And the exterior of the house, a white and gray stucco. There are six lights up above looking right down, brightening up this house incredibly at night. And the dark gray tiled trim around the garage gives it a nice touch. All right, let's take a look inside. Right as we enter, we are greeted by a pocket of this high ceiling and an iron chandelier hanging down. As we enter, the first room we're going to see is this guest bedroom to my left. So we are front facing. We have the large window towards the front yard, bringing in tons of natural light. This is currently staged as an office and every bedroom in this house is en suite. So we'll take a look in the bathroom. This bathroom has a beautiful vanity with the white countertops, the dark wood cabinetry, and then a light fixture surrounded by metal hanging down from the ceiling. The shower has a glass door with a sanded tile around the wall and then smaller light colored square tiles on the flooring. There's also a spacious walk-in closet. Now let's go straight across to the powder room. This is one of the larger powder rooms that I've seen. It features a floating vanity with chrome handles on the cabinetry. And the same light fixture hanging from the ceiling that we saw in the previous bathroom. Directly outside of the powder room is a cutout in the wall, opening up this space a little bit. And to my left is a door leading you inside the two car garage. Let's keep going. Making our way to the main part of the house. There's a wall here in the center, currently staged with a round mirror. Nice for a formal greeting. And this is the formal living room. This area opens up to the dining space and the kitchen as well. Behind me are pocket doors that lead out to the backyard. They slide behind this maroon quartz fireplace. And it's not a gas fireplace, it's an electric one with a flat screen TV up against it. This home has an extreme open concept floor plan and the indoor outdoor flow as it opens up both sides of the fireplace. So now it heads right into this dining area with a light fixture above. This side of the dining area is a large square window looking right out to your beautiful backyard and waterfall leading into your pool. Also in the backyard is a unique movie area outside, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. Stick around. Before we show you the kitchen, I just wanna loop around and take a look at this wine rack. Located directly in the middle of this open floor plan. There are also open shelves on display for the entire room. 
So making our way into the kitchen, you're gonna see how unique all the finishes are in here, starting with the center island. It has that same sparkling maroon quartz finish that we saw on the fireplace with a waterfall edge. You'll see all the unique cabinetry in this kitchen, starting with one right next to the fridge. There are three right off the center island. You see the texture, how it's so shiny, you can almost see yourself. They were all actually imported directly from Spain. We have the Viking stainless steel appliances and the six burner gas stove. A large copper sink with the copper accents and a window looking right into your backyard. The center island has this breakfast bar area with more of those copper features in the light fixtures. This kitchen stretches out to another table, can be used as a breakfast area. And look above, those are the vents in this modern home. They don't look like the classic old style vents that you'll see in most houses. And on this side is a door leading into the pantry. All right, now let's head towards the stairs and show you upstairs. Before we do that, can you please just smash the like button? It helps out our channel a lot and we really appreciate it. Now let's take a look behind me. In many homes, the space beneath the stairs is used as a Harry Potter room for some storage. But here, they put a comfy couch and some open shelves. Now let's head upstairs. We see that the stairs have that same wood plank flooring as the entire main level. We have the modern glass railings, two chandeliers above me and the high ceilings. There's a window directly in front of me, bring some natural sunlight in to the second level. Now we've made it to the landing. So there are four bedrooms on this second level that we're gonna show you. First, to my left. You see that light fixture that's right above the front entrance door? And another window bringing natural sunlight to this second level. This bedroom is directly above the guest bedroom below it with a front facing window looking right onto the driveway and front yard, walk-in closet, and as I said, all bedrooms in here are en suite. Let's take a look at the bathroom. All light fixtures in the bathroom are motion censored. We have the same light fixture that we saw in the bathroom directly below us. Same vanity with the dark wood cabinetry, the white countertops, and those same tiled wall and flooring finishes as well. And another walk-in closet. Out of that first bedroom on the second floor, again, I wanna mention this overlook with the glass railing. It's great for looking right down, to see who's coming in your house. Nice view of the front door and onto your street. On our way to the next bedroom, directly adjacent to this one. This bedroom has a balcony overlooking the driveway and the cul-de-sac. Let's go out onto the balcony. There are tinted glass railings surrounding this balcony, and there's so much space out here, perfect for taking in that San Fernando Valley sunshine. 
a walk-in closet to my right. Into the bathroom with the motion sensor lighting. A floating vanity with dark gray cabinetry. And what makes this bathroom unique from the others are the black fixtures with the sink faucet and the rain shower head. The tiles on the walls of the shower are a bit darker gray than we saw in the other two bathrooms. Moving on, directly next door is the laundry room. The floating cabinets are unique in here as they have a light gray color to them. Different darker wood plank floorings in here as well than throughout the rest of the house. Next, we'll show you the junior suite. The second largest bedroom in this entire house, currently staged with two twin beds. You can make it a children's room. Features a walk-in closet and a full bathroom. You might recognize this bathroom from the other two rooms as well, as it has that floating vanity with the dark gray cabinetry. Same light fixture that we've been seeing. And then the gray tiling on the wall with a black rain shower head. Heading out of this room, finally, we'll show you the last room of the house, the master bedroom. This spacious master bedroom is large enough to fit a couch on this side of the wall with a linear mirror directly above it. Behind me right away, let's head out onto the balcony. San Fernando Valley living at its finest. This balcony stretches out the entire length of the house, looking down onto the beautiful pool. This space is so private with the palm trees and hedges about 30 feet high. We can even see down onto the projector screen of the outdoor movie deck. You are not gonna wanna miss that, stay tuned. After enjoying a cup of coffee out on your master bedroom deck, we walk past the electric fireplace. Then follow me into the master bedroom walk-in closet. This master bedroom walk-in closet has perfect recessed lighting above us. I love the light gray color scheme throughout the shelves. And the closet opens up directly to the door of the master bathroom. This bathroom's a little different from the other ones that we've seen in the dual floating vanity. Motion sensored lights, but we have two of the same light fixtures. They have a copper tone to them instead of the silver metal ones in the other bathrooms. Goes along with the copper accents in the sinks. The shower is open as the glass wall doesn't extend to the other end of the tub. And up onto the platform is your deep soaking tub with a square window overlooking the backyard. An extremely unique feature of how the water flows into the bathtub. Zoom in on this. It's like your own personal spa in here. The shower has a copper rain shower head above me and a handheld rain shower head as well. The unique mahogany colored tile on the wall just speaks luxury to me. But that's it for the interior of the house. Now we'll show you the backyard. Directly out of the pocket doors of the living room and into the backyard, this home features that incredible indoor outdoor living that you want. This resort like backyard is amazing for entertaining. 
So we are situated on a little over a quarter acre lot, which is actually the biggest lot here in Sherman Oaks. And although this is a huge backyard for entertaining, it has a calming environment around us with the high palm trees and hedges, enclosing the yard for optimal privacy. Beside me is the pool and spa with bright blue tile around the borders of each. This is one of the largest waterfalls I've seen flowing into a pool out here in the valley. It adds to that resort-like vibe. Tucked away in the corner of this backyard, we have square stone steps leading to your outdoor shower. The blue and light blue tile sticks with the same theme that we saw in the pool. Making our way towards the other side of the backyard, we look up at the house. Look at that gorgeous modern exterior behind me. Large grassy area outside. And over here is your outdoor barbecue. Wouldn't be so bad to be the grill master at this house, cooking up some hot dogs or hamburgers for the family. Wow, there are some people watching a movie down on the deck. We're gonna take you there now. Down these steps. This outdoor movie deck is incredible. There's so much space down here. If you buy this house, if you want, you can take it out, put a basketball court here. There's enough space. To this side of the deck is a dining area, so if you want to just enjoy your food and not watch the movie, you can do that over here. This is such a unique part of the house. How many large outdoor decks like this have you seen in your life? There are three levels where you can set the projector right onto the projector screen to my left, and a bit of a lounging area right next to it. Completely out of the way of the backyard, you wouldn't even hear people up in the pool. And then also we are enclosed completely by trees surrounding us, making this such a private area of the house. You can honestly have at least 50 people up in the crowd enjoying the show, perfect at night as there are three outdoor lights. And surround sound speakers up against the wall with two in the trees as well. We just gave you a full tour of this brand new construction modern house here in Sherman Oaks, California currently listed for $2.4 million. Again, I wanna thank the listing agent, Rosalind Cohen, for letting us tour her incredible listing. If you guys stayed till the end, please hit that like button. It really helps out our channel a lot. If you guys wanna see more of these in the future, hit the subscribe button. We're posting videos every week and stay tuned for the next one. I'm gonna go watch a movie here.